Hi everyone, this is Justin from RNDE Student Housing Assignments. It's time once again for the annual housing draw. We've created this series of videos to help you understand how the draw works and how you can maximize your chances of getting the type of housing you would like. In this video, we're going to take a high level, broad look at the draw. We're just going to hit the big points here, so I strongly encourage you to visit thedraw.stanford.edu to see the more specific, topic driven videos. So let's get started by asking what is the draw and who participates? The draw is the first assignment round for next school year. Any rising sophomore, junior, or senior who plans to live in undergraduate housing at any time next year should participate in the draw. Students who are going abroad or taking a leave of absence until winter or spring quarter can apply for housing during the draw or wait until the waitlist deadline for the quarter in which they will return. The application deadline for students who will be gone autumn quarter but returning winter quarter is in October. The application deadline for students who will be gone both autumn and winter quarters but returning for spring quarter is in February. You participate in the draw by logging on to the Housing and Dining section of Access and filling out a housing application. On your application, you're going to select a tier level. The tier you choose dictates the range of numbers from which your random draw number will be assigned. The draw number dictates the order in which you are assigned. The lower your draw number, the sooner your application is considered and the sooner your application is considered, the more likely you are to get your top housing choice. There's more to know about tiers than draw numbers. Check out our tier video at thedraw.stanford.edu to learn more. One of the great things about the draw is that you can apply as a group so you and your friends have a chance to live in the same house. You indicate your desire to be a part of a group on your application. The first group member who submits his or her application establishes a group name and password, which the other group members use when they submit their applications. It's important that you and your groupmates set your group retention level appropriately, and it's critical that you list the same residences and the same order. Some of the biggest mistakes students make with their draw applications occur when they try to apply as a group. Check out the group video before submitting your application to make sure you don't miss out on your chance to live with your friends. The bulk of your application is made up of your residence choices. You can list every residence and room type that we have available, and every student must rank a final choice. Your final choice is always, yes, I'm willing to accept any other assignment, or no, do not assign me if the choices I selected are not available. If you are guaranteed housing, you must select, I am willing to accept any other assignment in order to preserve your guarantee. You should only select, no, do not assign me if the choices I selected are not available, if you are willing to find your own housing off campus in the event we are not able to assign you to one of your residence choices. Check out our application video at thedraw.stanford.edu for more information as well as a guided tour of the housing application. If you are a member of a housed Greek organization, there are rules governing your tier usage and commitment to your house that you should know. Check out the Greek section at thedraw.stanford.edu to learn more. Students who need special housing consideration for medical reasons participate in a special draw process prior to the standard draw. This process is run in partnership with the Office of Accessible Education and exists to ensure that students with documented medical needs get the type of housing they require. Visit the Medical Accommodation Draw section at thedraw.stanford.edu to learn more. Keep in mind, students who are participating in the Medical Accommodation Draw have an earlier application deadline than students participating in the standard draw. Be sure to get your application in OAE paperwork work in on time. And that's it for our very high-level overview of the draw. As I said before, there is more to learn, so be sure to check out thedraw.stanford.edu for lots of important information and resources to help you be successful in this year's draw. If you have a question, we want to hear from you. Send us a help ticket at helpsu.stanford.edu, give us a call, or stop by our office. On behalf of everyone in R&DE, best of luck in this year's draw.